Okay. Hey, Team Textiles. Um, <clears throat> check it out. I figured out how to put myself in the video box. That's pretty exciting for me. Um, I just wanted to, in class, we did how to do stripes. And uh, we talked a little bit about weaving your ends in while you're knitting. Um, but I just wanted to do a video to show you once again how to do that. We didn't do a lot of it in class. So um, you can see I have knit over here, um, some rows of knitting. Now I'm going to make a stripe, so I'm going to cut my yarn. I'm going to take my tail, tuck it up into my yarn mast to hold on to it. Now, before I do anything else, because this is the part that is most heartbreaking to forget, I'm going to thread up my knitting machine. And because this is a small sample, I'm going to do the little trick where I tie off my yarn on the hook underneath. You'll probably notice when I knit, um, I'm doing things a little bit awkwardly. I'm not actually sitting directly in front of my knitting because of the cameras. It's over here. So that's why I'm doing things at maybe weird angles. So if you are at better angles than I'm at right now, that's right. Um, okay. So my carriage is threaded up with my second color. Now I want to take this tail. If I don't do anything with it, my knitting is going to be fine and safe. But post-production, when I take things off the machine, I'm going to have to weave it in with my tapestry needle, which is totally fine. Um, but if I want to make things a little bit faster, I can weave it in while I knit. And that's really um, especially helpful if I'm doing a whole bunch of striping. Now, if I forget to do this at any point, I can always go back at the end and weave it in with a tapestry needle once it's off the machine. But I'm going to try and weave this in while I knit. So I'm going to keep my stitches stay safe by putting my finger here and holding them down. And then I'm going to take the outside uh, seven to nine needles. Um, that's kind of dealer's choice. It might be five. If you're working with a fine gauge, it'll be less. Um, a thicker gauge, I might use a few more to get more stitches caught up. Um, you know, there's not a finite number for how many and you have to do it. So I'm going to take my tail and now I'm going to go over the first needle, underneath the second needle, over the third, under the fourth, over the fifth, under the sixth, over the seventh. I'm not yanking this super tight. I also don't want it to be really loosey-goosey. If it's really loosey-goosey like this, it'll get knit in across there and these loops will show. So um, a nice, you know, Goldilocks medium tension. This tail could hop up into my knitting machine and cause me some issues, so I'm going to take my handy dandy clothespin and just hang it on there, not right up here where I can get got in the carriage, but just down here. Double check that nothing is stuck in behind the gate pegs. Double check that yes indeed my carriage is still threaded. And then I'm going to knit across one row. There we go. So now you can see this yellow tail has been woven in. You won't see it on the front of the cloth. It's just being held in behind. Um, but now I want to take my other tail and weave it in as well. So I'm going to do the same thing. Hold my stitches down and pop the needles out one at a time. If I just push them out like this, it can bring my cloth forward um, and some of the stitches can hop off the needle. So it's always best to just hold the stitches down while you're moving those needles. And now in this case where I've got this tail coming out after needle seven, I might decide to put this one only over five needles or all the way over nine needles over and under each one of them. Um, just so that my tails aren't coming out at the same place. So I'm going to do five for this one. And I want to make sure that that first needle, I'm going outside, over and around. If I go underneath it, and then just over on top of the second needle, it's going to pull my edge in a little bit. So always over on top of the first needle, the outside one, under the second, over the third, under the fourth, over the fifth, and on. I'm going to take my clothespin now pop that onto the white one. If I'm worried about this hopping up, 
that's fine. I can hold them both. And I'm just going to move that down a little bit. There we go. Now I'm good to go. I can take my carriage and knit across. And now I'm good. Now I can just knit some rows. Yeah, that's it. Pretty easy peasy. Um, I would take my clothespin off after I've got some rose knit and these ends are sort of far away from here. As always, move my coil weights up while I knit and then keep going. So um, it's pretty simple. Just cut your yarn, um, take the tail of the old stripe, push your needles all the way out, always holding your stitches close to the machine, the outside five to nine-ish needles, weave your tail over under, throw out your carriage, do your new stripe, and do the same thing with that tail. And if you forget, it's not the end of the world, you can always fix it afterwards with a tapestry needle, so you don't have to undo the row just to weave it in. It's totally okay. And that's it for this one. Thanks guys!